knowledge and learning experiences that we derive from this activity. For actual application, when we leave this seminar, we pray that you bless all the committees in charge that they fulfill their task responsibly, that the objectives that they had set may be all achieved. Your generous blessing will mean the success of this seminar. We know that without it, we can do nothing. Maybe we all the living witnesses of your genuine love through the implementation of the knowledge acquired through this activity. Grant us your divine wisdom as we go about our daily task after this seminar. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, Ms. Hazel, for leading us in prayer for today. And again, everyone, we would like to encourage you to fill out the form for our attendance. Ms. Liberty, our, our advisors from Grade 6 Solidarity already sent us the Google link okay, for our attendance. Thank you so much. And... Let us move on to our welcoming remarks to be given by our very hardworking and very able school principal, Mr. Elmerante M. Sadikon, our principal. Please give him a round of applause. Thank you, Ms. Leia. Greetings to one and all. It gives me immense warmth and great pleasure to grace all of your presence in the interest of the entire Pleasant Mount School community. It gives me tremendous contentment to be presenting the welcome speech among our grades four to six pupils, parents, staff, and faculty members, parents and teachers, homeroom team officers, and most esteemed resource speaker, Ms. Via Portera. Before we begin this webinar, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to all of you who sincerely committed to this event to make it a success. This event would have been impossible without the support of each and everyone present here today. The Pleasant Mount School and PTHT organized and conducted seminars or webinars for us to gain insight and information that would remain effective in our life activities and work. So the topic for discussion for today's webinar is dubbed as Mind What Matters was chosen, keeping in mind the mental health issues of our young learners in school. Mental health awareness is an important issue for all educators who are often the first line of defense for their students. Education professionals have recognized the impact that the student's mental health has on learning and achievement, and they realize that there's a great deal that can be done to help students with mental health issues. As a teacher and school principal with more than 20 plus years of experience, I welcome the fact that mental health awareness is finally becoming an important part of school's function and curriculum. Until mental health education is a mandatory aspect of all schools, Teachers and administrators can work to promote awareness with their students. So the key elements to shine a light on include the concept of self-care and responsibility for one's own mental health and wellness, with an emphasis on the fact that mental health is an integral part of health and the concept of recovery from mental illness. I ensure the seminar today will be profitable and fruitful for everyone present here. So thank you so much. Good afternoon and a warm welcome to all. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, um, Sir Sadiqan, for that welcoming remarks. And we all know that a lot of things are happening around us these days. As adults, we are greatly affected. And just imagine how much more our students are being affected by them. So now, 
to welcome our guest speaker for today, may we call on Ms. Sarah Jane P. Lizardo, our Grade 7 Felicity Advisor. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my honor to introduce our resource speaker for today. She graduated BS Psychology in the year 2007, finished her Master's in Guidance and Counseling in the year 2011, passed the board exams for Guidance and Counseling and ranked sixth place in the succeeding year. And she has been a Guidance Counseling in University of Santo Tomas for 13 years. Ladies, gentlemen, and students, please welcome Ms. Villa Katrina G. Portera. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you po, Ma'am Sarah, from, for that introduction. Again, and sir, good afternoon po ulit um, to everyone. It's so nice to be here. Good afternoon to our principal, Sir Sadiqo. <laughs> Salamat po ulit. And to Ma'am Alferos. No? I, I believe she is the president po. Nung, um, yes, so yes. Oh, po. Thank you for the invite. This is actually my second time here, and as always, very, very happy to be spending um, a day with the Pleasant Mount students, no? Pleasant Mount School students and faculty. Kinagadala ko pong maging um, parte ng napahagandang initiative niyo po to talk about mental health. Indeed, it is very important, no? and it's never too early to start. Mas maganda po that mental health and um, is is taught to our students, right? Um, uh, mental health practices are taught to our students as early as, uh, siguro, grade one, no, or prep, or actually even before they start school, no. Meron na tayo mga mental health practices in place sa bahay at sa school. So, um, we this session is for the grades 4 to 6. So, may I know, ayan, marami tayo ngayon, no? Uh, may I know, if you're in the 4th grade, please type in the chat box, grade 4. <laughs> so, lang malaman sino yung mga grade 4 students natin. Ayan, ako mga ano na pala to, no? Mga dalaginding at binata. Ayan, so marami din. Grade 4, ayan, okay. So, you have a good number of 4th graders here. Thank you for being with us, for spending your Saturday with us. Alright, so how about grade 5? Type grade 5. Okay. Ayan, Okay. So, nandiyan si, sa grade 4, nandiyan si Crystal, Colleen, Camille, Marcos, tama ba? <laughs> Ayan, tapos si uh, Lee, and then grade 5, Carl, Alana, Yassi, Mary Frances, are we done yet? Althea, Keisha, yan. Welcome grade 5. And finally, ito na yung mga kuya natin, kuya ate. How about uh, the 6th graders, Macy? Oh, thank you for typing your sections, ha? Also, so meron tayo from Green 6 Serenity, Siriana. We also have Francis, Shekina, Paul. Meron ba ako nakita kanina, eh? Great. Ayan, si Arkin from Serenity as well. Kanina may Solidarity naman. Gaganda ng name ng sections yun. Nice. Si, Gab si Gabriel from Solidarity. So, hi again, guys! Hey! Um, thank you for having me and I'm glad to be spending this afternoon with you. Okay, talking about such an important topic. But I know itong mga oras na to, no, nakaka nakakaantok. No, aminin na natin. <laughs> so, lalo na pagkakalunch mo lang. So, syempre nag nagda-digest yung ano natin. Mas um, nakakaantok. So, para medyo ma-exercise naman tayong konti. Kasi syempre movement, yan ang uh, nabawasan talaga yung movement natin. No? At, especially um, at the start of the pandemic. Nabawasan talaga siya. Hindi na tayo na gumagalaw masyado. So, sasabihin nyo, eh, ma'am, hindi naman ako nag-exercise before. Well, I'm no, I'm not just talking about movement, yung, 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 yung exercises, yung structure, yung routine exercises. I'm also talking about yung simple paglalakad, no? I'm sure, di ba? Paglalaro, pagtakbo. Di ba? Nawala sa atin, na nabawasan yun. So, um, 
And we all know that exercise is a very important, uh, plays a very important role in, or simple movement, plays a very important role in our mental health. So for this afternoon, I want to start off with a little bit of exercise. So don't worry, napakadali lang ito. Kung wala kayong lugar dyan, you can do this sitting down. Alright? So gagawin natin to para medyo, ano naman tayo, no? may konting energy. <laughs> Ah, okay. Um, Mag-share lang po ako ng screen, ma'am. Opo. Sige po, ma'am. Sorry, I'll take over na po. Share ko na po yung tab ko. If that's alright. Ayan po. Ayan. So, let me check if my screen is share. Ayan. So, Okay. All right. So again, now before we pala we proceed with our exercise, um, the title of your activity this afternoon is Mind What Matters. So this will be a session on mindfulness. So later on, I'll explain what mindfulness is. But first, galo galo muna tayo, ha? Oh, by the way, guys, no, mga ate, mga kuya, just feel free to let me know if my video is um, lagging or if my audio is breaking up so I can make the adjustments. Okay, so huwag kayo mahihiya um, na i-notify ako kapag uh, hindi maayos yung video ni Miss Villa or ang audio. Okay? So, let's start. Yan. So, yan. So, sayo-sayo tayo, pero hindi natin kailangan tumayo. Okay? <laughs> okay? So, kayo mahihiya. Lahat tayo, gumalaw-galaw tayo. And yes, it's possible. It's possible to... <laughs> Johan says no. Oh, I understand. I know not everybody likes to dance. Okay lang. Kahit konting movements lang. Or kung talagang ayaw, sige, dan uh, sing na lang kayo. If you don't wanna dance, um, just sing. Oh, Ben doesn't wanna dance. Oh, it's alright. Okay. So, but let's just enjoy the music. How's that, right? Because this is a nice song. I like this. I am, I'm not young, but I still like this song. Okay? Sige. So, let's start the afternoon with a very happy... Um, uh, activity with a very happy dance or song. All right. This was nice and fun. We had fun putting it together. I have to do so the exercise. Let's go. You don't have shoes on. I got up in the morning, a couple of Clap, clap. Open. Good. The same, we're gonna change the feet. Take it out. Four. Good, good. Open. All right. We're gonna have a change here. Rock. Good. Up. Then down. Rock. Up. Down. Shine. Good. Nice and slow. Good, nice and strong. 
Thank you, Johan. So excited to announce that. All right, thank you, thank you. Wow, I hope you had a. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Sige nga. <laughs> My arm. Carly says, "What's wrong with your arm?" Nasaktan yata kayo. On a disconnect, it's okay. Di bale. Pag may oras pa tayo mamaya. <laughs> the dance ulit. That was sun. Thank you, Carl. Clarence ka oh, okay. So if you had um I'm not sure if emoji you can type emojis in your chat box but if you had fun can I see a smiling emoji? Can you type a smiling emoji in the chat box? <laughs> I'm lagging po. It's okay if you're lagging it's all right. Ha? Just try to catch up. It's fine. Ganun talaga minsan ang Wi-Fi sa hapon ano na humihina. Oh, Crystal is all in the car. That's okay Crystal. It's perfectly fine. Thank you for still joining us, even though you're headed somewhere, ha? Thank you for being here still. We're glad to have you. Okay, ganun talaga minsan naglalag. It's okay. All right, let's move on. Ayan. Oops, sige. Let me... This always happens. Okay, let me stop sharing for a bit so I can move on to the next. Sige nga, patingin niya pa may nakasmiley. Ayan! Sino ba dito ang... Anong tawag dyan sa BTS? Sino ang mga war... Ano? Army. <laughs> Sino ang mga army dito? May AC? May AC? Uh, may aamin ba? <laughs> of course. Proud army. Kapag dapat proud kayo if you are... BTS can just not... Why? Why? Ben is not happy. Okay. Me, two years ago. Me, Mary. Yeah, ang dami rin pala. I'm sure your teachers, some of your teachers are also BTS fans, no? Okay. <laughs> ako hindi ako fan, but my good friend is. But I like their songs and they're fun, no? Oh, grabe naman si Ben. Ikaw talaga. All right. Okay. Okay. Can I share? Ah, not yet. All right. So now, I'm glad you had fun. It's important, sabi ko nga, di ba, it's important to get um, movement in our routines kasi um, movement is important. Without movement, uh, we will really, I, I think that's that's why some of us actually uh, feel, maybe if you feel sluggish some days, that could be because we don't have a lot of movement. So if you can, lalo na ngayon, no? If you can, go outside, have fun. If it's safe lang, ha? And always wear your masks. So I will. <laughs> I'm getting sick because I'm on my phone. Okay, well, take care, Alex. Don't force it. Pag hindi kaya, if if watching, if if being in the seminar is making you dizzy, it's okay if you don't. If you log out for a bit, or if you look out the window, muna. Yeah, no. Oh. All right. So thank you, guys. Ayan. Natutuwa ako sa <laughs> sa mga nagtatype sa chat box. Okay. Johan, why is this two hours long? Uh, di bale, I will try my best I, I to finish this as early as possible. But that would mean you need to cooperate. Uh, everyone has to cooperate and participate so that we can finish early. All right. So I, I'm sure you can do that kasi malalaki na kayo ang ate kuya na kayo eh. All right. So let me share my screen again. Okay. Sige te, salamat. Ay, sorry about that. All right. Okay. So now, yan na, nag-exercise na tayo now. Gusto ko naman malaman, since this is, as Carly mentioned, a mental health thing, meeting, I want to see how you guys are doing right now. So in in um in front of you, you have a five-point scale. All you need to do is type in the chat box the number that corresponds to how you are feeling today. So are you a five right now? Are you a four, a three, a two, or a one? So again, ulitin ko ha. Um, just type the number that represents your feeling, your, your emotion, or your state right now, your emotional state. How are you feeling today? Sige nga. Okay, let me go back as far back as I can. I want to see your answers. Sige nga, gusto ko malaman. 
three you got a three oh you have a one that's okay like, like i'm sorry to hear that but um hopefully you'll feel better soon Wang is a five three four we have one five three okay five okay so i'm seeing a lot of three so not bad but not great man siguro bored bored now you're you, uh, siguro you're thinking uh, i i don't really want to spend my saturday in, in a seminar that's fine i understand <laughs> So we have threes, fours, fives. We also have, I'm happy to hear that some of your fives, those who said one, thank you for being honest. And that is okay. Vanessa says 2022 is worse than 2020. Oh, why do you say that, Vanessa? It's okay, huh? no no worries again. Maybe later we can share, huh? but for now, let me just... Um, check no so mostly threes fours and fives but again for those who said one or two or and for those who said na 2022 is not this is not uh, gearing up to be a good year um I, i'm sorry to hear that you must be going through something difficult but thank you for being honest and thank you for sharing so another thing that i want you to know is that okay, it's okay if today you're only a one diba kasi um we're, we're human, no? We're human beings, no? We're not always going to feel a five. We're not always going to be at a five. Sometimes we go from a five, a four, back to a five. And then sometimes when, especially when we're going through something, we, 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 we feel like we are a one. Right? Now, let me see. Sige nga, ates kuyas. Um, I said earlier, it's okay if you are a one. That's fine. What do I mean by that? That it's okay um, to go from a five and a four and a three, two and a one. Sige nga, do I, oh, I have, I have a kid, um, I have some raising their hands. Let me see, Amber. Sige, go ahead, unmute your mic. You can, you can use your mic for this. Because it's normal to sometimes feel bad about something because we're all human. So it's normal to feel those kinds of emotions. That's right. That's perfect. Thank you, Amber, for sharing. Exactly. No, so we're human beings. We're not. Um, we have a what do you call this? A um, a rainbow. Let's call them a rainbow of emotions. So it's okay if today you're a five and maybe next week you're a one. There's nothing. You don't don't always think. Oh my goodness, I'm, there's something wrong with me because I can't be a five all the time. No, there's nothing wrong with you. Not necessarily. Right? It's okay to feel sad sometimes or especially if you are going through or sometimes you you know you don't really have a problem, pero parang mom, I don't really uh, Miss Via, I don't really have a problem that I can identify and yet I'm a one. Sometimes you just have those days, right? Like today, diba? you you feel bored, you're like meh, diba? Uh doesn't mean there's a problem. It just means you're human and you change. You no, know, your feelings change. That's how feelings are. They come and they go. Right? So don't think that there's something wrong with you if you you bounce from five for uh, from a five to a two sometimes. Ang importante is that you can still do the things that you usually do, diba? Ang importante is you can still go to school, you can still talk to your friends and your family, you can still eat, and you can still take a bath, do the usual stuff, even if you're a bit slower. Diba? If you're sometimes when you're having a bad day, diba? you're a bit slower, mas tinatamad, you don't feel like doing it, but you're, if you're still able to do it, then that's fine. You're still in, on, in a good place. Okay? I'm oh, sorry about our little chicken. <laughs> okay, so thank you for being honest. I'm glad to hear that most of you are at a three, four, five. Um, again, it's okay if you're a one. Now, if you're feeling, if you are not doing well, um, later naman, I'll be giving tips on how to deal with that. Diba? Okay, so let's move on to the next. Ayan. All right. Now, I want to know, uh, type your answers in the chat box. What happens to you when you are sad, angry, or scared? Like, so um, what happens to you physically? What happens to your body? Um, or maybe what are some of the your behavior? Diba? What, what, uh, what does your behavior look like when you're sad, you're angry, or scared? Okay? So, sige. Um, I, I would... Okay. Ah, okay. Kala ko nag-answer na. Alright. So, again. 
my question is, what happens to you when you are sad, angry, or scared? So it could be physical, ma'am, my head hurts, my tummy aches, or when uh, when I'm angry, I tend to get red in the face, or it could be behavioral, like I I I am so I'm cranky with my siblings or my family. So yeah, so please answer the question. It could be in Tagalog or in in English, okay? So I'm gonna be waiting for your answers. <laughs> that chicken, oh nga, eh, maingay yung chicken. Kung nagpapapansin yung pet, we have a pet chicken kasi. <laughs> Yan, sige. Okay, so, uh, okay. So where does, does the answer start? All right. So Electri says, okay, Khalil, you hit your head. Okay, I either cry it out or just lay down. So, so that's uh, when you're angry or scared, no? Um, I always think of bad things. Quiet, you get quiet. Some get quiet. I just act normal. I don't think about bad things. Okay. Oh, don't think about bad things, Khalil. Okay, you're talking to Khalil. I have no energy. I try not to cry. I lay down. Crying, rest. Yan. Ben says, when I am sad, angry, or scared, I deal with it because I have nothing to cope with. I overthink a lot and cry every night. All right. I look like being dramatic when I cry. All right. Si Weng says, nananahimik. I play Nintendo. Okay. I want to start with, um, I want to ask someone about their answer, okay? Um, I'm going to go back. I'm going to scroll upwards. I saw an interesting answer here. I want you to tell us more about it. Okay. <laughs> I missed it. Oh, sige, di bale. Let's, uh, let's go to this one na lang. Si Marian, sabi ni Marian, I will probably write the problem on a paper and I burn it. So why do you do that, Marian? Why do you think, um, does that help you? So uh, before that, when do you do that? When you're sad or angry or scared? Sige, Marian, you can unmute your mic. Um, when I'm sad, angry, and yeah, when I'm only sad and angry, sometimes it works. Okay. So when you burn the paper, bakit, why do you feel the need to burn the paper after you write your problem on your problems on it? Because it makes me, um, how do you say, well, uh, once I burn the paper, it's like, Hindi ko na so parang isusulat mo siya and then iboburn mo na siya parang kakalimutan mo na siya parang symbolic ganun ba Maria yes yes po all right okay okay so we have marami no marami yung nagsasabi dinadaan sa iyak si Francis naman she doesn't speak to others so some 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 people when they have problems they talk to others, no? They they um they find relief in talking to others. Meron naman iba, I don't. They they they, they don't. They'd rather uh, keep the problems to themselves. So okay lang yan. Iba iba tayo ng coping system, no? Ng coping mechanisms. Ibig sabihin ng coping mechanisms. These are things that we do in order to um continue functioning. Kahit meron tayong pinagdadaanan, kahit may malungkot tayo. So, I just go play with my friends. I cry at night. Yeah. I overthink. Can I ask si Kesi Carly? Although, I'm not, uh, I'm sh uh, there's someone else who said this as well earlier, but I'll go with Carly for now. Carly, you say you overthink. What do you mean? Uh, what exactly goes through your head when you're overthinking? Sige, Carly. Parang, tama. Uh... Ano yung mga naiisip mo? Pag sinabi kasi nating overthink, ibig sabihin, dami-dami mong naiisip, di ba? So, ano yung mga examples na mga naiisip mo? Dramatic. <laughs> Dramatic, oo. Tapos, pag hindi ka na sad, when you think of these thoughts, ano yung naiisip mo? Like, parang naiisip mo ba na, hala, bakit ko ba naiisip yun? May ganun ka ba minsan? Limbawa, parang kalmado ka na, and then you you recall your thoughts parang, huh? Why did I think of that? Ganon ka ba minsan, ka, ka Carly? <laughs> yes, okay. 
All right, can <laughs> Camille, I am sorry, but we can't cook the chicken. It's our pet. <laughs> <laughs> Maingay yung chicken namin. Pasensya na po kayo. May pet chicken po kasi kami dito. Okay. So, reading a book. That's good. Alright. So, you guys. You guys do a lot of stuff. No? A lot of stuff happens to you when you are sad, you're angry, or scared. Um, okay. Um, and... Although some I see naman na, okay, those things are usually what happens. We cry. And that's okay. Crying is fine. You know, in many ways, crying is very helpful. Diba? Pagkatapos, diba, nakakapahinga ka or gumagaan yung loob mo. Um, we have to always remember that um, we have different coping mechanisms, but we always have to make healthy choices. Diba? We, we can't choose coping mechanisms that will hurt us in the end. Diba? So, ito ang parating sinasabi. Diba kanina, you found out I was a guidance counselor, right? So, I tell my students this. And my students are much older than you. You know, I, I talk to college kids. Sino dito yung may kuya and ate sa college? Or, meron ba? Meron ba dito na may kuya sa... Okay, yeah. Yeah, thanks. So, marami, marami. May mga, may mga, mga students na, may mga kuya kayo in college. So, so, those are my students that I handle in USD. And I always tell them, okay, so you're, you're sad now, but you have to un make sure that the choices that you make, even when you are sad or angry or, or scared, you have to make sure that those choices will not harm you or harm others. Okay? So, um, hindi excuse na you're sad, you're angry, or scared, kaya you lash out or you lash out on others or on yourself. Di ba? Minsan kapag malungkot tayo, we're very hard on ourselves. Di ba? We're, we're very, we speak very negatively sa mga sarili din natin. So that's not good either. Okay? Kasi you will find out that our emotions, di ba sabi ni Miss Bia kanina, they come and they go. Um, hindi naman yan parating when you're sad today, sad ka na parate. Eh, what if you make a decision? Halimbawa, okay, I'll give you a scenario. What if you're angry today? And then you, because you're so angry, you to, you, I, I saw an answer kanina, I took revenge. If I took revenge, or I said something so mean to this person, to my friend, na kaaway ko. And because of that, because you're, just because you were angry today, you said so many bad things to that friend. And because of that, um, and as a result, nag-friendship over kayo. E tomorrow, for the next week, okay ka na. Kaso, hindi na kayo friends. So that's what I mean. You have to be careful. You have to be careful not to make decisions or choices that are permanent based on impermanent emotions. Sige nga, sige nga. Gusto ko, narinig ba ng narinig ba yun? Do not make decisions or choices that have permanent results based on impermanent emotions. What does that mean? Sige nga, do you understand? Paki-interpret nga. Can somebody raise their hand and interpret that for the rest of the group? Sige nga, let me see who's raising their hands. Oh, matatalino na mga ate kuya na to eh, no? <laughs> okay, so may mga answers sa chat box. Yes, I'll read that later, but let me see. How about, um, I already called Amber... The friends, uh, Frances. Sige nga, Frances, I believe you already typed your answer, pero sige nga, let us hear your your voice. What does that mean? Uh, wag po kayo gumawa ng mga decisions na alam niyo po na makaka-apekto sa mga tao. Yes. Okay, thank you, Francis. Oh, yun yung sag tama, no? Um, based on your emotions. Kasi ang emotions natin, ano naman yun eh? Hindi naman yan parating um, importante ang emotions. They're very important, but we do not let them tell us what to do. Okay? Yes, please, guys, if you need to um, go to the bathroom, no need to tell me, just go to the bathroom. Just come back. As soon as you can, okay? Sige, go ahead. Um, so, yun. Right? Emotions are important. We need to listen to our emotions kasi our emotions, they tell us how we feel about the world around us. But they, we don't let them, we don't let our emotions tell you what to do. Okay? So, there's a line. Diba? Listen to your emotions. Listen to it. But don't let it tell you what to do. 
especially if it means you might hurt somebody or yourself. So later on, may intindihan nat. So what do we do, ma'am, with our emotions? Sige. Ben got it right. Exactly. That's on point. Don't be a slave to your anger. And today will today's session will be devo devoted to learning how to regulate or manage our emotions so that we can listen to our emotions because we we cannot suppress, we cannot hide our emotions, we cannot run away from our emotions. Diba? That's not good either. But we have, we have to listen to them, but we cannot let them... Um, control our choices so i know you understand that again so we'll move we'll, we'll move right along okay so thank you guys for sharing if you have coping mechanisms that are not very healthy then hopefully this afternoon you will learn better ones okay so let's take a look at our brain all right so maybe you want to copy me all right so look at the it's the the, the hand at your left so make a four Use with your hand, okay? Make a four with your hand. Okay. Now, um, this part of the brain, diba? This part of the brain is called, let's say, it's called the limbic part of the brain or the lizard brain. Itong part ng brain na ito, this one is in charge of, um, this is like our alarm system, okay? Um, this is like the alarm system. It tells us, it alerts us. Oh, there's danger. It's 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 always scared. It's always on the lookout for danger. Pati siyang takot. Pati siyang takot. It's always looking out or or watching out for things that could hurt you. Okay, so that's this one. Now look at the 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 hand on the right and make a fist. Cover cover the lizard brain or cover your thumb. Yeah. So cover your thumb. Can you see me? <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, sorry. Right. Now, this part of the brain right here, it's called the prefrontal cortex. This is called, um, this was called a, the smart part. You know, I was watching a video. So this doctor was teaching kids about the different parts of the brain that's in charge of our emotion. So this, the fist part right here, this is called the smart, our smart parts, no, or the prefrontal cortex. So it's in it helps us make good decisions. It helps make us good choices, right? It helps us say the right thing, okay? So, kailangan, ito yung gumagana. So, ano dapat? Sige nga, ano dapat yung gumagana? Yung lizard brain, yung limbic brain, or yung smart parts? Can somebody type in the chat box? Which one should be working more? The smart parts. Good. But sometimes, yeah. Okay? Kaya lang, Sometimes, um, something happens, no? Our, our brain thinks we're in danger. Diba? Uh, akala natin, someone's gonna hurt us. And the smart part doesn't work. Diba? It shuts down. It shuts down. And ang gumagana is the lizard brain. But the thing is, the lizard brain doesn't really work well in regulating our feelings. Diba? So, when you let your lizard brain take over, you might end up doing something mm, that's not maybe the best thing to do in a situation. Right? So, for example, you think, um, anong tawag dito? The lizard brain is in, is, is in control. And the lizard brain thinks or interprets a decision or interprets a situation as, ay, I'm in danger. I'm being attacked. Halimbawa, sino dito nagsu social media? Sino nagsu social media? Raise your hand. Sige, raise hand button. Why is it called the lizard brain? I'll explain in a bit. Okay. So, um, I didn't invent that term, by the way. I learned that also from this doctor who was teaching in YouTube, who was teaching, uh, she has a YouTube channel and she teaches mindfulness to students. So she called the limbic part of the brain as a lizard brain. It's not the thinking part. It's not a smart part of our brain. Itong brain lang na to, ang, ang, ang job niya lang is to protect us. Kaya lang, ang, minsan, nag-overthink din or nag-overact si lizard brain. Kaya siya lizard brain kasi... Ano siya, um, hindi siya nag-think, hindi siya talaga smart. Reactive siya. ba? So, going back to my question, who here goes to social media? 
So, minsan, when you type something, when you post something, and then something reacts, minsan, we interpret it as, she's attacking me. Diba? She's attacking me. Right? Somebody says something. Halimbawa, you post a picture of yourself. And then, your friend comments. It's laughing emoji. Diba? Laughing emoji. Tapos, your lizard brain says, oh, oh, she's attacking you. Your friend is making fun of you. She's embarrassing you. Okay? So, yung lizard brain mo, that's what your lizard brain is telling. Now, if you don't let your smart part take over, you react right away. Di ba ang lizard, ma mabilis siya, kumilos? Di ba reactive ang lizard? May, may, may lizard bang mabagal? <laughs> Wala akong alam na lizard na mabagal. Lizards are very fast. They're very quick. Di ba? Um, kaya nga nakakagulat sila eh. Now, when your lizard brain is in action, so going back, um, o oh, sige, can I ask, yeah, a, a lot of you are commenting in the chat box, okay? So just make sure that your comments are about our topic, okay? So make, um, Make sure that you don't talk about other things muna, ha? All right. So when the lizard brain is in action, immediately what you're going to think is, oh, she's making fun of me, ha? Pinagtatawa na niya ako yung aking OOTD. So kay kala ko mukha mo kung sino. O, oh, yan na. Pag lizard brain mo ang gumana, magre-react ka kagad. Tatype kagad. What do you mean by that? Why are you, la why are you laughing? Maganda ka ba? O, oh, di ba? Nag-away na kayo. So that's what the lizard brain does. Okay? It reacts. Your smart part, this is the one that always has to be um, in control. Okay? Especially when we have big emotions. Tinan mo, pag si lizard brain, hindi kasi nag-iisip ang lizard brain. React lang siya ng react. Pag feeling niya, takot siya. Pag feeling niya, hindi siya safe. Pag feeling niya, under attack siya, it skirties away. It just reacts. It doesn't think about anything else. So, the lizard brain is a good, is a good part of our brain. Kaya nga part siya ng brain natin kasi may function siya. It, it's supposed to protect us. But only in real danger. ba? A comment in Instagram and a laughing emoji, is that real danger? Is that life-threatening for you? I, I see people sh shaking their heads. Yeah, it's not life-threatening. It could be uncomfortable. It could be unpleasant. But it's not a danger to your life. The lizard brain is only supposed to function or it's only supposed to work when you are in actual danger. Give me an example of an actual actual danger. Can I see your raise of hands? When I mean a life-threatening danger, life-threatening situation. Sige, let me see. Camille Vergara, can you give me a real life-threatening situation where the lizard brain is helpful? Sige nga. Sige, uh, Camille, you can unmute. When you're gonna be hit by a car. Exactly. Very good, Camille. Another one. Good job. Um, Vanessa. Vanessa Paglinawan. Sige. Scissors. Scissors. Ah, okay. So, ano pala yan? Ibang account. So, uh, when you're about to, siguro when you're about to be attacked, no? Hopefully, wag mangyari sa inyo yun, di ba? O kanbawa, um, when you're walking and somebody tries to rob you, sige. Um, how about, sige, the, the boy using the account named Mayfloor. Sige, anak. Stranger po. When there's a stranger trying to get you, siguro. Oo, yun. Those are life threatening. Thank you for your examples. Sige, one more. Um, I have a lot. Nice. Matthew Adriano. So, yeah, one last, one last example of a life-threatening situation. Getting attacked by a dog po. Yes, yeah. very good. Pag hinahabol ka ng aso mo, okay lang na mag-shutdown si thinking brain. Kasi, bakit? Pag hinahabol ka na ng aso, tapos may rabies yung aso, iisipin mo pa ba, tatakbo ba ako? <laughs> Will you still stop and say and think, hmm, Tatakbo ba ako? Maglalakad ba ako? Magjogging pa ba ako? Anong gagawin ko? No. The lizard brain just just pushes you to takbo na. So in that situation, the lizard brain or the limbic system is very important.
you know, it doesn't take its time, it just acts. Pero, doon lang siya helpful. Kapag ka sa isang situation that may be uncomfortable but not life-threatening, dapat ang gumagana is what? Yes, Madison. Is it the smart part? Oh, no. Oh, phrasing. What's the question? If 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 um in situations that may be unpleasant but are not life threatening, which should be working more, your smart parts or the the limbic or the lizard part? The smart parts, pa. the smart parts. Very good. Thank you, Madison. So yes. If you're aiming, someone aiming you with the gun. Yes. Oo naman. What do you do? You dodge. You duck. You run away. Right. So the lizard brain helps you do that. Because sometimes, um, syempre, hindi mo naiisipin, what am I gonna do? Of course, when somebody's pointing a gun at you, you just run, di ba? You save yourself. So the lizard brain is in charge of that. But it cannot always be in charge all the time. Is it clear? Can I get the thumbs up? Can I see a thumbs up from all of you? Na, na, naiintindihan ba ako? Students? Do you understand how your brain works? Right. Okay. So it's important to know this, how our brain works. Kasi sometimes when, when we are sad, we are stressed out, when we are afraid or super angry, this is what our brain looks like. You know, if you've seen a snow, snow globe before and you shake it up, that's what our brain looks like when we have all these um, big feelings. No, They're all demanding our attention. Diba? Charles! Michelle, Elsa, Matthew, pay attention to me. No, to me. No, to me. <laughs> so you got all these things in your head. And um, your head, your brain looks like a shaken snow globe. And it can be, can you give me a word? Can you give me a word that would describe how you feel when you have when you're soup when you have all these thoughts when your brain feels like a, a snow globe that is being shaken what happens to you you get what you become what dizzy you become dizzy diba kasi ang dami ang dami ko iniisip i have so many emotions starts with the letter o you get what i over here yeah? Pwede, you overreact sometimes, yes, because if the smart part is not really working, if you don't allow the smart part to work, diba? if you're just reacting and reacting, you might overreact. But another thing is, another O, over, over, sige, somebody who knows the answer, you may Overthinking. Overthinking, tama. Overthinking. That was uh, over overwhelmed. Overthinking. Overwhelmed. I heard it already. Thank you for uh. Thank you. I, I didn't see who said that, but that's right. But all your other answers are correct. You might overreact. Yeah. So, paano natin pagaganahin ulit si smart parts? So again, when the brain feels unsafe, when the brain feels it's under attack, even if it's not really a real life-threatening danger, diba? If the lizard brain is in charge, how do we get the smart parts to work again? Are you raising your hands? Again, to the boy who's using the account of Elsa, Ibanya. Sige, anak, I see you raising your hand. What do you think we need to do in, in order to get the smart parts to take over? When we're feeling super stressed out, diba? you feel unsafe, right? When you're sad, you're stressed, you're overwhelmed. Think you're angry. Yes, think good. Think good. Yes. So, do you react right away? For example, you've got all these things. You 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 have all these things um in your head. Do you react right away? Sige anak, go ahead. Ah, your your uh thumbs down. Yes, you don't. Bakit hindi dapat mag-act right away? Sige, iba naman. Thank you. Uh raise your hand. Uh, uh because you need to think oh, about the problem. Let me see, let me see. <laughs> Bakit hindi dapat, tama yung sinabi ng classmate nyo, nung, nung ano nyo, na think good, oo. Oh. Instead, oh, bakit hindi dapat mag-act right away? Sige nga, Carl Henrik Gonzalez, why is it important not to act right away, even though you've got all these things in your brain? See, si Carl Henry? I saw your race. Oh, wala na. <laughs> yes, 
Because your reaction might not be good. <laughs> right, your reaction might not be good. Thank you. So you have to what? What do you do? Kasi, what do you do? So if your reaction might not be good, what do you do first? Stay positive and use the smart part. Yeah, okay, so Michelle says uh, use the smart part. Um, that's true. We have to use the smart part. But sometimes when this is in charge, how do we put this in charge? Because sometimes when this is in control, this shuts down. How do we turn it on again? So th that's what, thank you for all your answers. Ah. Think positive, moon, or think good. Diba? Use the smart part. Exactly. So this, the next thing that we're going to learn right now is how do we turn on the smart parts when we're upset? Think Kasi, diba, when we're upset, we might hurt others. We might say something or do something that we will what? Starts with the letter R. That we will... If the smart part is not in charge, we might do something that we will... R. Starts with the letter R. <laughs> Sige, anyone who wants to guess that word? That we will what? Um, yo yoj, yoj Yuto. It's Gabriel. It's Gabrielle. Um, okay. Regret. Exactly. Oh, things that you will regret. No, so, sana pala hindi ko siya inaw or maybe I shouldn't have said those things or maybe I didn't. Maybe I should not have quit that club, that org, that game right away just because I was so upset, right? So, good job. Thank you for being participative. Okay. Um. So far, is everything clear? I uh. Can I get the thumbs up? Let me see. If it's clear, oh, anyway, later you can ask questions, huh? We'll have time for that. Okay, next. Yeah. It is important to pause first, especially when we are feeling big feelings. So again, it's okay to have big feelings. Sadness, emotions, uh, sadness, anger, those aren't bad emotions, huh? Number one thing that you need to remember. Do not judge yourself for feeling bad, for feeling angry and um, jealous or whatever. Don't. Okay, that's first. Don't. There are no such thing. There is no such thing as bad emotions. Okay, they may be difficult emotions. They may be big emotions, but they are not bad. Because we're supposed to feel all of these things, right? Because emotions are data. They are clues. They are clues. They are important sources of information. So if we don't take the time to listen to them, how are we gonna know how to act, how to behave, or what to do? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Give me a nod if that makes sense. Again, let me re repeat what I just said. There, are, there is no such thing as bad emotions. Okay, Emotions are in sources of information. They are clues to our values. They tell us what we value. They tell us what is important to us. Right? So you, um, we have to listen to them. We have to listen to them. Okay? Um, we have to listen to them because if we don't, then how are we going to make the best decisions, best choices? All right. But like I said earlier, we listen to our emotions, but we don't let them run the show. Can you type that? We listen to our, our emotions, but we don't let them run the show. You can write that anywhere. So you type it in the chat box. We listen to our emotions, but we don't let them run the show. Sige, I want to see, ah. I want you to type it. <laughs> Para mas ma-remember ninyo. Okay. The chat box is closed. Ah, the chat box is closed. Oh, okay, that's okay. Um, Maybe you can type it somewhere. You know, you have a paper, write it down, and always remember it, okay? So it's important to pause. This is how we make, this is how we make the smart parts work. Okay, this is how we turn it back on. All right, we pause. We don't react right away. We don't. We don't copy the lizard's movements, de ba? Pag nagugulat ang butike, de ba? <laughs> Nagkakagulat ang kayo pareho kasi yung butike nagulat. Iko nagulat din kasi pag nagulat ang butike, bigla siyang tatakbo or ano matawag dun? Magkukrol ng mabilis. So we don't do that. We breathe. It's important to pause first, especially when we are feeling big, big feelings and try to get back to a state of clarity and calm. Diba? We have to stay calm. Don't make decisions yet. Don't make choices yet. You're okay. You're safe. Okay? You're feeling uncomfortable. You don't feel good because you're sad. It's unpleasant. It's big. It's overwhelming. But 
you're safe. So always remind yourself that. Okay? And breathe and pause first. Don't do anything just yet. Okay? Just sit with your emotion. Try to listen to it first. Kanina, I was with the session with the grades one with uh from from uh with this i have um dito, i had a session with the uh, grades one to three so yun yung sinasabi namin tell your emotions first so nagkaroon kami ng exercise sige nga pinag pinag I, I told them sige sabay-sabay kayong magsalita unmute your mic <laughs> so they all spoke at the same time so so noisy right sabi ko that's what our thoughts are like that's what our brains are like sometimes right so sometimes so what we need to do is to tell our emotions diba okay. calm down quiet down for a bit i listen to you but you got to slow down for a little bit okay so that's what we're going to do today all right so this is where mindfulness comes in okay, i want somebody to read this for me Sige. Uh, raise your hand if you want to read it for for Miss Bia. Carly, Carly, can you read that for me? The whole thing? Mindfulness is our ability to stay present and to be curious observer of our thoughts and feelings. It is the perfect antidote to to the sometimes stormy seas of anger, sadness, and fear. Yes, oh, sige. Thank you, Carly. Um... What does that mean for you? What does that mean for you? Okay, so yeah, I'll call somebody else. Lee. Hi, Lee. Or to the person using the account of Lee. Sige, go ahead. What do you think that means? You can say it in Tagalog or Filip- in, or in English. It's okay. Sige nga, Lee. What do you think that means? Being a curious observer of our thoughts and feelings. What's the question again, Po? Okay, so do you see the screen? Lee, do you did you were you able to read the definition of mindfulness? Na nababasa mo anak? Nababasa mo siya? Not yes. Okay. What do you think that means? Can you ex- uh, para sa yo? What does that mean? Re- uh, after after reading this, ma- what do you think mindfulness means for you? It's like an emotion. It's like an emotion. Okay. All right. Is there anything else you want to add to that? Oh, sige, de bale. It's okay, Lee. Uh, good try. Okay, good try. Sige. Who wants to help him? Um, how about... Sige. <laughs> um, Mad- Madison. Sige, ulit. Si Madison again. Go ahead. What do you think it means? It's okay to observe your emotions. Okay. Can you say that again, Madison? I didn't quite catch that. It's okay to observe your emotions. Good. It's okay to sit with our emotions, right? So when we are mindful, this is the best way to make their smart parts stay in control. Diba? So, um, it is an ability, or our ability to stay present and be a curious observer of our thoughts and feelings. Who among you, minsan, kapag nalulungkot, you're like this. I don't want to feel sad. I don't want to feel sad. Meron ba sa inyong ganun? If you're like that, press the raise hand icon. If you're the type of person who wants to avoid feeling sad, you know, wants to pretend, wants to run away from it. Like, I don't want to be sad. We can't be sad. We can't be sad. This is not okay. I have to I have to try to change what I'm feeling. If you're like that, it's okay. Be honest. Um, click the raise hand button. Meron bang ganon? Meron bang ganon? Oh, I don't see anyone. Good. Ah, meron, meron. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's okay. Kasi di ba all our lives, no? Siguro you've seen it in others or you were taught na, no, dapat happy tayo. Parate. Diba? Eh, diba kanina, we already said, we, it's okay if we're not happy all the time. There's nothing wrong with being sad. It's not a sign that there's anything wrong with you. Now, if you are mindful, diba, you're, you can observe your thoughts. Hmm. Okay, so this is anger. 
wonder where this is coming from. I wonder where this is telling me. So that's what being mindful is. That's what being a curious observer is. You don't, you're not scared of your emotions, di ba? You don't try to run away from it. You don't, you don't try to hide it. You don't try to run away from it. Kasi nga, why do we need to be a curious observer of our emotions? I already said it earlier. Some, do you remember what I said? Dal-dal ni Ms. Via, no? So I don't know if you can remember what I said earlier. Why? Why is it important to listen and observe emotions instead of run away, running away from them? Okay. How about Althea Grace Boris? Anak, bakit kailangan ino-observe ang emotions? Ba't kailangan pinakikinggan? Ano ba ang function ng emotion sa buhay natin? Sige, Althea Grace. Are you? Ah, she's not raising her hand. Sorry. Um, how about Paul Jaden? Why do you think it's important na pakinggan ang ating mga nararamdaman? Sige nga. To understand their feelings po. Good. To understand it. Diba? Kasi if you don't pay attention to what you're feeling, eh mag lizard brain ka lang, react ka lang ng react. Hindi mo muna iniintindi. Hindi mo muna inuunawa. Or minsan, alam nyo ba mga anak, minsan... Ang emotions, hindi naman kailangan ding intindihin. Hindi rin kailangan i-explain. We just have to let it flow. Ah, totoo ba yun, ma'am? Yes. We just have to let it flow. Because our emotions, sometimes they just come and go. Diba? And earlier, diba sinabi ni Miss Bia, ang emotions natin are important sources of information. They tell us what's important to us. So, pag nalulungkot ka... Sa nakikita mo yung war ng Ukraine, if you read the, or if you watch the news, if nalulungkot ka, nagagalit ka, that's telling you that peace is important. It's okay, Chase. No problem. Thank you for telling me. Okay? Emotions are important kasi they tell you what matters to you. But, we just don't let them run the show, right? We just don't let them run the show. And that's what mindfulness is all about. Okay, you just sit for a bit. Sit with it for a bit. Sit with your emotions for a bit. Don't worry that you're scared. It's fine. You're gonna. You're safe. Just listen to it for a bit. And let it flow. Give it room. Give it space. Okay? All right. So, ito na. So, why is mindfulness important? I need somebody to, re- to read that for me. Uh, Elisha. Uh, El- Sige, Elisha. Can you read this one for me? Did I call you already earlier? Sige, it's okay. Go ahead. Is Elisha there? Sige, it's okay. Elisha, can I call someone else? Lorraine. Lorraine, can you read this one for us? Our feelings are very helpful. They're, they tell us what matter to us, but sometimes, sometimes they can shut down the think part of our brains, which cause to say us or do things that may hurt ourselves or other. Thank you, Lorraine. So, ito na nga, no? I've been saying this um, since uh, early on. Emotions are important. But, that we practice mindfulness so that they will not activate the lizard part, no? <laughs> the, the part of our brain that always thinks we're unsafe. Right? So that's the function of mindfulness. It helps us make the healthiest decisions, even when we are having big feelings, even when we are uncomfortable. Okay? Next. Another one, can I get somebody to read this again? Read this for me also. How about um, Colleen? Colleen Bethany. Mindfulness help us ab- embrace our feelings while making sure that we behave in a way that does not harm ourselves or others. Okay, sige nga Colleen. Um, I'm not letting you go yet. Anak, para sa'yo. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Mindfulness helps us embrace our feelings with uh, while making sure that we don't harm others or ourselves. Para sa'yo, anak, ano ibig sabihin yan? 
nilalat po natin yung feeling natin but we don't harm others po, or sinasaktan yung others po. That's right. So, thank you, Colleen. Going back to my example earlier, no? Pagka sa social media, di ba? Nag-emoji, laughing emoji yung isa mong friend. Nag-post ka ng picture. Thank you, Ben. Exactly. Again, very accurate. Very, very good. No, Very good explanation, Ben. That That's exactly it. No? No? Bawa, nakakita ka lang ng laughing emoji. Bawa, inisip na kagad ng lizard brain mo ay pinagtatawanan ka. Now, if you if you breathe for a bit, di ba? <laughs> um, and use your smart parts, maybe you'll realize, baka naman, you know, she's not necessarily making fun of me. Why don't I ask her nicely? Why the smiling mo? What's funny? Di ba? Di ba? Maybe I'm not being under attack. You know, maybe I'm just you know, reading too much into it. Maybe it's just my brain telling me I'm under attack. But maybe, maybe, um, she's laughing about something else. Diba, biro mo, smiling, uh, laughing emoji lang. Ang dami mo nang, diba, ang dami mo nang naisip. So, you have to make sure that your mind doesn't run away from us sometimes. Kasi ganun minsan ang isip natin, diba? It te- lalo na, pag nag-overthink, diba? Okay, all right, it's day 15, okay. Another another one, mindfulness, I'll, I'll take charge, I'll read this one, okay? Mindfulness helps us find healthy ways to give our feelings some room to move. Some Sorry for that, some room to move. Importante, we give our feelings the space it needs. Diba? Hindi natin siya pwedeng takpan, hindi natin siya pwedeng i- ibaon sa lupa, diba? Kailangan hayaan natin siya. Let it go, let it be, let it flow. Okay? Kasi importante ang emotions natin, hindi natin siya pwedeng iwasan. Di ba? Pero nagpa-practice tayo ng mindfulness para hindi tayo gagawa ng mga bagay na maaring makasakit sa atin o sa iba. Okay? So how do we practice mindfulness? Here are some tips. Number one, do not be scared of your feelings. Do not judge yourself for feeling negative feelings. ba? So pag sinabi sa atin na dapat happy ka lang parate, hindi totoo yun. Basta ang importante, um, I embrace all of embrace all of your emotions kasi tao tayo, ba? We listen to our emotions, we welcome them even the ones that um don't really feel good. Ganun talaga. Don't worry about not feeling good all the time. It, it you're safe, you're okay. ba? Even if you don't feel good, even if you're sad today, it doesn't mean that you're going to be sad forever. Okay? Kasi ang, ang emotions parang bisita lang din yan. Eh. Darating siya ngayon, mga siguro next week, aalis na yan. Or bukas, wala na yan. So, kailangan mindful ka. Kasi paano pag malungkot ka ngayon, tapos gumawa ka nga ng, ng ano ka, um, yun nga, or galit ka, may inaway ka. Tapos tomorrow, hindi ka na galit. O kaya lang, yung inaway mo, wala na. Galit na siya sa'yo. So, friendship over na kayo. So, you made a choice that will affect you forever based on an emotion na nawawala naman. Okay? So, that's why we practice mindfulness. So, we don't end up doing things that we will regret for a long time. So, can I get a thumbs up if you understand that? Can I get a thumbs up? I want to see. <laughs> Do you understand? Is it clear? Right. And again, we have an. I think we have time later to answer your questions. So don't be scared of your feelings. Listen to it. Sit with it. Just lo- don't let it run the show. Write about what you're feeling. Um, sino dito yung nag-journal? Sino yung may diary or may journal? If you have, can you raise your hand? Click the raise hand icon. If you have only. If you, if you don't, it's fine. That's fine. Okay. So, writing is good too. I, I I must admit, I don't journal as much anymore. Minsan, tinatamad na ako. Minsan, nagpe-pray na lang ako. Um, pero, maganda din daw ang pagsusulat. Kasi, it helps you. Kasi, pag nasa isip lang, lang natin lahat, minsan, parang ano, no? Lahat nakaka-overwhelm. But, for whatever reason, when we write them down, we become calmer. We understand the emotion more. 
di ba? At saka yung mismong yung pagsusulat, di ba? It takes time to write, di ba? So parang habang nagsusulat ka, kumakalma ka na rin, di ba? So if you are journaling and it's very helpful to you, that's great. And this is highly recommended. Okay, hindi naman kailangan may maganda kang journal. It could be any paper. But I would recommend that you do it old school. Okay? Like pen or paper and pencil. Huwag phone. <laughs> Huwag phone. Kasi sa phone maraming distractions. Okay? So try to do it old school. Next. Ito. Get enough sleep. Sige nga. Ito magkakaalama na. Ayos so, yung mga dalaga na kayo. Dalaga binata. Na, tignan ko nga. Um, chat, type in the chat box, ano ang bedtime ninyo? Ano ang, <laughs> ano ang bedtime? 11, Johan says 11, 11, 9, 12, 10, 11, 12, why? Why so late? Sige nga, is it okay if I ask, sino yung mga nag, nag, ano, um, sino yung nagsabi ng 11, 12? Can I ask why that your, that's your bedtime? Sige, Charles. Siguro po kasi teacher, hindi po ako nakakatulog ng maaga. Pero kapag hindi po nakakatulog ng maaga, nag-read po ako ng mga books para sa bukas lesson. O sa school po namin kung ano po yung pag-aaralan po namin. Oo, oh, okay. Ah, uh, Charles, sige. Before you, before, before you unmute, ano oras ba ang class ninyo sa umaga? Ano po, 8.20. Ah, 8.20. So, kung 11 na tutulog si Charles, how many hours do you get? So, 12, 1, 2, 8, 4, 5, 6. Oh, medyo okay naman. Nakaka-8 hours pa rin. Ano. Um, okay, so iba-iba ang bedtime. Kayo nang bahala dyan. Mas alam nyo na. Ang importante, you get enough sleep. Kasi pag parating napupuyat, mas, mas prone to crankiness. <laughs> Masungit. At saka mas malungkot, mas nalulungkot, mas sluggish. So, get enough sleep, okay? Um, kahit mahirap, avoid your phone. Kung may phones na kayo, huwag na kayo mag-phone. Ha? Ka Although I understand it's hard, no? Like ako, kahit ako eh, very tempting mag-phone-phone eh, no? Pero no, try to get as much sleep. Especially kasi I know marami kayo rin yung tasks, no? So, school. So, get enough sleep. Okay, it's hard to be mindful. It's hard. It's hard to be calm when you are um, when you are irritable because of lack of sleep. Of course, you eat healthy. You walk outside if it's safe. Ito yung sinasabi nating movement, no? Maglakad-lakad lang tayo hanggat kaya. Kung safe lang ha sa lugar natin, kung hindi, eh, gawin na lang natin yung YouTube exercise, sitting exercise. Okay na yun. Okay. So, eat healthy. Try to eat healthy. I know McDonald's and Jollibee, <laughs> Burger King or Popeye's, those are very delicious um, treats, no? I love them as well. Kaya lang, make sure balance, eh. We don't eat them all the time, no? We still have veggies and fruits in our diets, no? So, occasionally, we get fast food or chocolates or chips, di ba? Sige nga, oh, para masaya tayo, what's your favorite? Type it in the chat box, quickly. What's your favorite uh, snack? <laughs> what's your favorite snack? Hiro? Hiro. <laughs> Burger, lace, wow, so shal. Chicken skin, ang oh, sarap yun. Lace, um, ve vegetables, thank you, ma. Very good, ma. This one, grapes, wow. Bread, milk, tea. Naku, masarap nga yung milk tea. <laughs> Okay, fries. O oh, nga, actually, ako after nito, parang gusto ko i-treat yung sarili ko sa fries, tsaka sa magdo. O, oh, basta occasional lang, or sometimes food lang natin. Yan. Chips and fish fillet. Wow! Fish and chips. <laughs> Very British. Butter bread, fried chicken. Okay. Yeah, so those are, ano, donuts, of course. <laughs> those are our, ano lang, mga occasional or sometimes food lang. Pero, make sure kakain ang tama. Okay. Ramen. Tama ba? Ramen. Alright. Okay. Ito. Very important, ha? Talk to family, friends, your guidance counselor or teachers, especially when you're dealing with very big emotions and you don't really know how to handle them. Maybe it helps to have somebody listen to you. Don't be afraid to share your story. Um, I'm sure there is always somebody there who's willing to listen, Okay. Okay, yeah. again, mabilisan sa chat box. Sino sa inyo, si, um, if you could talk to a person about your big feelings, who would it be? Um, siguro, you don't have to write the actual name. Siguro, teacher bayan, mommy, daddy, kuya. 
Oh, nobody. Well, hopefully after today, sino nagsulat nun? Um, well, if you if you think you don't have a trusted person, just keep looking. Meron yan, ha? If you, uh, I'm sure your teachers and guidance counselors, if you don't really have that many friends pa, or malayo sila, or busy sila, or si mommy and daddy busy din, you can go and talk to your guidance counselor and your teachers. You can trust them, okay? So, I know it's hard at first. It's awkward and it will make you nervous at first. But just give it a try and um, that might be very helpful, okay? So, you have mommy, friend, online best friends, parent, good, the do your dog. Okay lang yun. <laughs> uh, mom, sister, oh, that's nice. Friend, nanay, oh, yun, tama, yun, ha? Maganda pag nala may malalapitan tayo. Ayan, so, si, ayan. so, if you think you have nobody, that's not true. Meron yan. Um, consider your guidance counselors or your teachers. All right? Um, and even if you struggle with the words, like, Ma'am, I'm sorry, I don't have the words. That's okay. Just sit with this person and you'll figure it out, okay? Mom and brother, best friend, dog, mommy. Oh, that's great. Ate, BFF. Akala ko BF. <laughs> Joke. Wala, baby pa kayo. Wag muna. <laughs> Mom and dad. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that you have people that you trust in your lives. Again, if you feel, if, if you think you have no one, um, maybe in your personal life, maybe you could go to your teachers or your guidance counselor. Okay. Do something you love and do it joyfully. So, ito na, hobbies. Diba? Kumakanta ka ba? Nagluluto ka? Nag-workout ka ba? Ano nagawa? Sumasayaw ka again. Chatbox time. What is your hobby? What is something that you absolutely love to do? Diba? Do you draw? Do you plant? Are you a plantita? Kaya lang bata pa kayo para maging plantita. Eating, playing, Valorant, singing, drawing, dancing, cooking and baking. Wow, Lorraine. Good. Games, badminton. Good. Music, yes. Roblox, naku Carl, pareho kayo na ang aking, I have a seven-year-old who loves Roblox also. Fan fiction, ooh, okay, may author na pala kayo dito eh, no? Music, Arn, Arn, what's that? Arnis? Badminton, anime, YouTube, okay. Strategy games, listening to, who's that? Um, writing stories, oh, I'm, I'm glad meron pa rin sa inyo, mahilig magbasa talaga at magsulat. Good. So, whatever that is, make time for it and do it joyfully. Enjoy it. Enjoy it when you can. Kasi, syempre, marami kayong work, work uh, load, right? You have, when you can, when you have time off of that, uh, make sure na you're doing something that you love. No? And also spending time with people that you love, di ba? Family and friends. So, kung pwede na kayong mag-travel, pwede na kayong mag-hangout, kung safe na, oh, that, that will be great too. Francis says, I like to sing. Yes, so do it joyfully. Whatever that is, do it joyfully. Don't feel guilty. If you have time to rest, rest. Enjoy your rest. Okay? Alright. And also, try breathing exercises. Okay, so hindi ko na to play. I will just demo it live. Baka mas madali. Okay? Um, um, there's this breathing uh, exercise that might be very good for for when you're feeling nervous. Okay? So, make sure lang na pag nag-breathing exercise tayo, ang okay, breathing exercise, maganda kasi yan pag ninenervous ka, natatakot ka, galit ka. Diba? So, bago ka magsalita, <laughs> um, pag galit ka, pag strong yung emotion mo, mag-breathing exercise ka to try your calm, to calm your body down. After the body, then you can calm the mind, okay? So just make sure now when you are breathing, your belly expands, ha? And your shoulder is relaxed, okay? So let's try that now. Um, hold your belly, okay? Make sure now when you inhale, when you inhale, you are, your belly is expanding, lumalaki yung chan. Okay? Pag nag inhale okay? And pag nag-exhale kayo, um, exhale through the mouth. Okay, so inhale through the nose, deep breath through the nose. Make sure your belly is getting big as you enjoy as you inhale. And when you exhale, exhale through the mouth. Okay, so let's give it a try. Okay, so when you're maybe you're feeling mad, okay, or you're you're upset, you're stressed out. Try this. Okay, so I'm gonna count. Ah, you follow me. 
Again, check if your belly is expanding when you inhale. If it's not expanding or if it's not getting big when you inhale, maybe you're doing it wrong. So again, when you inhale, lalaki dapat ang chan. Are you ready? Hold with two hands or one hand. I, I just need your hand there just to check if it's getting, if it's expanding or if it's inflating as you inhale. Okay? So ready? So just sit comfortably. Okay, comfortably. So we will try our breathing exercises now. Have deep, deep breath. Exhale. You can close your eyes too. Deep breath. Deep breath. Exhale. Deep breath. Exhale. Okay. So, ganon, ha? You can do that maybe 10 minutes. Actually, you can do that kahit hindi ka stressed out, no? Uh, you can do that every day if you like. So, that's a good way to relax the body. Kasi minsan, pag angry tayo, mahirap i-kalma yung mind kung hindi kalmado yung katawan. So, maybe we could start with the body. If your body is um, very tense, no, calm it down first and then we can calm the mind. Alright. So, do this. Huh? Try this. Again, it's quite easy. Maybe you can um, hold your breath in also. Maybe for two counts, three counts. no. So, don't exhale right away. So, again. Huh? So, inhale. Exhale. I think get on. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So calming breaths. Okay. Yeah. Na intindihan pa ano calming breaths? Can um uh, mag breathing exercise? Give me a thumbs up if that was clear to you. So that it's easy enough to do. Ang question na lang ngayon. Do we practice it? Let's practice it every day, no? Okay. And always remember, when your heart is a bit sad or perhaps really mad, don't worry about feeling differently. Embrace where you are. Listen to what you feel. Give your feelings some space. Be patient with yourself. Things will be okay. Just learn to be still. Okay. Right. So remember to be still. Okay, thank you for being here. That's it. Thank you for being patient and for listening and for participating. I had fun. I hope you did have fun too. Erin, you learned something too. Thank you. Salamat po. Thank you so much po, Ms. Vea. Wow. We really learned a lot. I think it was not just helpful for the students, but as well as for the teachers and for all of us who listened to the Talk. Thank you so much, Ms. Veo. We really learned a lot. And now, everyone, um, we welcome all your questions. Again, if you wish to ask questions from Ms. Veya, you can just click the raise and button. But please wait for Ms. Veya to call your name, to mention your name, okay, before speaking. And also, if someone is speaking, please always practice respect. Again, please...